Hi guys, welcome to UK Diver. My name's Andy. Today here in the UK, today is Sunday the 28th of March, which means that tomorrow is Monday the 29th of March, and that's Freedom Day. It's Freedom Day here in the UK, guys. It's the first step to the easing of lockdown here in the UK. And for the first time in literally months and the first time certainly this year, uh, we can actually go out and do organised sports. So not everything's open, but we can go diving. So um, as soon as the news broke, I'm afraid I... I'm just super keen, I'm afraid. So I booked a day's annual leave off from work and I booked a ticket at Stony Cove and we are heading off down to Leicester tomorrow to go and do a little dive in Stony. Not doing anything over exciting. Dean's built himself a twin set over lockdown, so he wants to obviously try that. He's also got a spangly new torch we'll take a look at. It's an Orca torch. I want to see a D850. I'm not sure. It's a cable torch anyway. Uh, so we will have a good look at that uh, while we're down there. Apart from that, it's just get wet, check kit, brush skills up, get Dean a bit used to his twin set. So it's all there, look. Look, it's all there, scuba diving kit. Uh, it took me an absolute age to get sorted. I could used to be able to like get my dive kit sorted in five minutes, literally five minutes flat. And this time it's been uh have i remembered that i forgot this it's been an absolute mare <laughs> just because i'm out of practice because today does mark 122 days just let me say that again 122 days since my last dive so not as bad as some but that is bad enough for me 100 that's unheard of so it's been a long old drag here in the uk you know we had lockdown two what october time and then we went into the tier system and we went straight into tier four which was effectively lockdown and then we come out of that we had christmas for a few days and then we went into lockdown three which again was another lockdown so it's been absolutely ages so i'm really looking forward to just getting out and going diving and getting wet so without further ado i am going to oh, go and have a covid test to make sure that i've not got covid obviously before i go driving off down to leicester and just to let you know guys i had my jab my vaccine first vaccine like three weeks it'd be three weeks this tuesday so not tomorrow the day after so i'm feeling pretty confident that i won't get sick but you know do the covid test because it's better safe than sorry, isn't it? And at the end of the day, this is how life's going to be for a little while, isn't it? If you're going to go and do anything, you're probably going to want to test before. And so I will see you in the morning. Uh, I'm going to go get some shut eye, so I'll catch you then, guys. All right, see ya. Morning, guys. It's about six o'clock here, and yeah, we're ready to go. As predicted, the COVID test last night came back negative, so we are good to go. So I'm um, just the rest of the family's just getting up, ready to go to work and school, and this, that, and the other. Well, let's hit the road, and we'll see you probably for a bit of breakfast. Creepy fake school children on the side. <laughs> creepy. That's creepy. Oh, morning, guys. So here we are. Here's Dean. Say hi, Dean. So we're in Leicester. We've travelled down. Got lots of boy races in cars, but we are here. Check it out. It's cool, anyway. So yeah, we're here at McDonald's. Yay! So we've just worked out that it's been 122 days as well since we had a McDonald's breakfast. So uh, yeah, we're gonna eat this uh, and then we're only about 10 minutes away from Stony if that, so I'll check you out there. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've never noticed that before. That's new. Is this where they're going to start uh, checking your tickets then, is it? Here we are, guys. Stony Car Park. Uh, I can honestly say you've never met a group of more happy people in your life. Uh, everybody was glad to be finally out and diving again, and it was just smiles all around. So we were told when we uh, were driving in and, and getting in the car park, the guy that come and check the tickets and check that you were supposed to be there, uh, did tell us, did warn us that the Viz was going to be uh, absolutely crap. And there's me uh, just making my thoughts known on it. There's Dean, who's literally about two foot behind me, but you can barely see the poor lad. Uh, so yeah, it was uh, challenging. So yeah, algal bloom, definitely in full flow uh, this time of the year. So uh, anyway, we finally managed to crawl and, and get over here to uh, the Wessex. So we'll have a little 
little look around here, but I'm not going to show you too much here, guys, because there's really with this viz, there's just not a lot to see. So after we'd knobbed about in the shallows for a little while, making sure Dean's uh, set it was good, we, we headed off into deeper water. And uh, lo and behold, once you drop down below sort of 18, 19 metres, uh, the vis really cleared up. So yeah, there we are. Look, we've been underwater 30 minutes and we've just covered upon 20 metres. And uh, the vis is not great, but it's certainly <laughs> leaps and bounds better than it was in the shallows. Guys, so that's it. Dive one done of 2021. The conditions here at Stony are challenging in the shallow waters. So we were supposed to be just going in the shallow waters just to help Dean uh, check out his twin set and have a play with his torch and yada yada. But despite not having great weather, the algal bloom is well and truly in effect as you saw in the little bit of video I did there. So we did venture a bit deeper and it clears up. So we're gonna go have a cup of tea then go do a second dive and we're gonna probably head straight out to 22 meters and hopefully, fingers crossed, a bit of ears. But really nice uh, to get out again after such a long time. Gonna have a few aches and pains from carrying stuff I'm not used to carrying anymore, that's for sure. The exercises and stuff. Oh, God, it's like being born every time. Isn't it? Oh. Oh, that's better. But yeah, as I said last year, I, no I noticed a difference. First couple of dives, well, like, you know, out of breath. Yeah, yeah. And then as I sort of got in, I were fine. By end of season, I could even put my own things on and take them off. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to wait till December, aren't we? <laughs> I really don't know what it is about divers and putting creepy ass dolls in the water. I mean, look at this. It's like some out of a bloody horror movie. Um, I'm really not keen on it. Yeah, me being a scaredy cat. Like, oh no. Um, oh, we've got to go in and have a selfie anyway. But I, I really don't get it. Where do they get these hideous things from? And what makes them think they're going to make it a decent underwater attraction? No. They're awful. Stop doing it, guys. Put them in the bin and I've done with it. All right. So at this point we are just um, on the bow of the stain garth running Dean's gas down because we need to make sure uh, that he uh, can stay underwater he's not too light uh, when his gas really low so what we're doing here was just having a quick scoot around the bow of the good old stain garth uh, uh, before we head back and uh, get Dean to six meters on sort of 10 or 20 bar his twins. Right, so that's it, two dives done. Like I say, visibility, not great today. It, it's the annual algal bloom, so another two or three weeks and that'll clear up. Oh, what a lovely day it's turned out to be now. Look, look at this, look at this. Absolutely stunning. The sun's come out, the birds are singing. It's just turned out to be an absolutely cracking day. So, twin set diving. Twatting in. <laughs> yeah, it smells, it smells better than thought. It's heavy, but just, uh, Getting used to the weight, but uh, I think the second dive felt a lot better. Especially, you know, once we get to some of the depth down to 20, 21. Yeah, it was easy. It's easy when you dive. Yeah. It's easy when you dive in deeper, isn't it? Because after that, it's a bit slower. Uh, you know, holding anything at six meters can be difficult, especially when you're not confident with your trim or you've got some new kit. Well, your twin set is definitely new kit. I know when I went over to it to start with. Absolutely hated it. Absolutely hated it. I was that used to diving single cylinder. Every everything was off. Nothing was where it was supposed to be. Nothing felt right. So it does take a bit of time to get used to it. But no, I think we've been all right. What was your, what was your, what were your comments on the viz today? Um, so I can bleep it out. <laughs> it's the worst I've ever seen it. <laughs> Bet it's, shit. It's pretty it's, bad. You know, to say it was crap is an understatement. And around the sort of six to seven, eight meters. 
it was like walking through uh, a bowl of. Uh, I think my Cuban black beans had more business. Yeah, than, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it was like literally going through a barrier of some kind, and then you sort of got deeper as you got sort of down. Then you actually actually could see the bottom. You could see, yeah, you could see the bottom. So yeah. So anyway, guys, that's it. We are done for scuba diving today. It's been nice to get out. I'm sorry there's not been a lot to show you underwater. The visit has been a bit naff. Dean didn't kill himself, so we'll call that a win. Yes. Yes, we'll call that a win. All right then, guys, I will catch you on the next one.